Hi everyone, and uh, I'm the fifth shot amongst the four shots. <laughs> Please, people, you are like the shortest also, right now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Hi, how are you? So, uh, you know, the first thing that comes to anyone's mind when they see the trailer of four more shots. Don't say it, don't say it. Is don't say it. it looks like we are the wedding. <laughs> It looks like you're the wedding. <laughs> the thing is that you have so many films that have three boys or four boys and celebrating friendship, and uh, you don't really compare. You know, the moment there are four girls, uh, there is all sorts of comparisons, which is actually not a bad thing. The stories are completely different, the characters are completely different, their journeys are completely different, and uh, the film and a series is totally different in terms of the time, right? So this is a long medium format, and that's why you see the journeys of all the four characters and the other characters that come in their lives uh, over a period of 10 episodes, which is a long time. Your character is, I read somewhere, uh, is a sexually curious person. Yeah, is that by, true? By curious. By, by curious. curious. What is the arc of your character like? Yeah, so basically, um, I think all that's been told so far is that Umang Singh is a personal trainer and she's bisexual. That's all you know for now. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, your character, Manvi, um, tell us something about that. She says, Meri mummy mujhe pasand nahi karti. Kyun? Yeah, she says that my mom hates me. Yeah. So, uh, she's the only character actually who doesn't really have a career as such because all these other uh, women have uh, a job yeah. uh, for the <laughs> lack of a better term. She has a lot of time to hate her mother. And uh, yeah, so her mom's her, her mom's one focus in life is to get her <coughs> married, get Siddhi Patel married, and that's the name of my character. And uh, so her entire life has been about um, grooming herself to become that perfect bride to be put out in that market uh, of an arranged marriage and get the perfect match. I think it would relate to a lot of women out there as well because that's how a lot of Indian women are raised and you yeah. know, to be put out in the marriage market, so to say. So, you know, when I first read it, I didn't think it pe that people would relate to it because I didn't. I was like, you know, how can you have such severe hatred towards your one of your parents? And then, uh, but then I met people and then I realized that there are a lot of girls um, with who have this very strained, very stressful relationship with their mother. Part of your uh, personal life were you tapping into when you were doing this character since it seems a little unrelated? Um... I was trying to actually, so I've, I've personally been, uh, knock on wood, extremely confident of my body. So I had to tap into a lot of um, just uh, judgment that I might have faced in my life, a lot of uh, critique that I might have faced in my life. Um, then also this, um, I mean, I had, uh, I, I play the, ca I play a character which is a virgin. She's a virgin, and uh, so I had, and it's a big deal, you know. And I realized I tried to. Go, my parents are watching the show, but I, I tried to go back to that feeling of what it was like to be a virgin and how, like, how, how we make such a big deal out of it either way. It's just women are constantly uh, thrown with these pressures, you know, which we don't even realize, but it's very subconscious. It's in the media, it's in uh, your circle. Your character, in fact, is uh, something that a lot of women would aspire to be. You're an independent businesswoman. Today we can actually say that a lot of women will relate to Anjana uh, plainly because of how she is and who she is in her professional life and and personal life. The personal life is, um, you know, we, we when we see a person, we kind of, we are very quick to judge and we are very quick to kind of uh, put them in a box saying, oh, ye aisi hai, to isko koi problems nahi hai. Oh, she has a lot of money, oh, she's successful, so of course she doesn't have any problems or he doesn't have any hmm. problems. But the whole point is that uh, people out, people out there, don't really know what, what the inner conflicts are, what the inner issues are, and and that's the beauty of the show, I think, uh, where all four of us, um, you know, have our times when we look like, oh my God, they are having such a great time, but all of us are dealing with so many things uh, right. by ourselves, between ourselves. Another thing that stands out in the trailer is uh, trying to normalize, you know, vagina yeah, yeah, and yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah. So uh, was it like through these four characters, are we trying to do this as well? And four more shots, please. I think a lot of things is a taboo still, right? I mean, even if we lead certain lives, certain kind of lives, uh, we don't say certain things out in public, you know? And there is a sense of hush-hush around certain words for actually no reason, you mm. know? So I think uh, through the show, I think the writers and the makers have tried to sort of make it something uh, which is which becomes a part of the vocabulary, you know? But it's they're normal words. But the moment you say something like that, you're like, you know, people around 
they're, they're just like, oh my God, what did I just hear? You know, so I think that is definitely something that is part of the show. But I think, you know, having said that, the trailer is always cut in a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. The trailer is always not exactly what the what show is. is. The show is much more, way more layered. Right, that's actually more. my next question, you know. When you put it in the trailer, uh, sometimes there's this risk of being overdone. So, uh, is it overdone? Is it just to the right amount? What do you have to yeah, say? Yeah, asking somebody who has so many tattoos, I'd just say, um, go over the top and no. do, do. I think you should just go all the way if you want to go and do something, rather than just regret and be like, oh, I should have done a little more, man. Yeah. So, I think you should just go for it. And you've got four characters here, four actors here who literally live their lives in such a fashion in every aspect of their lives. And I think we brought that to the show. And I think that's why, no matter what they put on the trailer, we're okay with it because we know exactly what we've given to the show. We have tried to do what is required for the script mm -hmm. and really put ourselves out there for everyone to judge, for everyone to criticize, for everyone to be like, oh my God, what are these women doing, uh, whatever. Yes, we are out there. Like us, hate us. Love us, whatever. Yeah. Like, Just whoever. watch the show. What is different in this show is actually the gaze. And that's something that the makers, mm -hmm. because it's women who's, who've made the show, written the show, shot the show, mm -hmm. edited the show, performed, it really is a big tectonic shift in terms of how women are seen on screen. You know, how you don't objectify them yeah. if you are showing sex, you know? It's not about objectification. Yeah. It is authentically portraying exactly what happens. You know, I think that honesty and authenticity was there in the writing. And that's why I think we all came on board to create this and collaborate it together. So, uh, what does this name for more shots? What does, what does, what does that mean? For more shots, kya hai? So, Daru hai yaar. Nay, why this name? Why this name? Why this name? They na, basically they have all met. They all are very different. They all come from very different walks of life. Probably they wouldn't have been friends if they had, you know, met anywhere else. They actually happened to meet at a bar, at a pub. And they actually got along, you know, and they're very different. Hmm. But still they got along. And then that's how the friendship started. And uh, it's, they always sort of, happen to call for four more shots and yeah. these women love to actually hang out together and have a drink many drinks and together it's not just four shots please it's four more shots yeah. like the party continues yeah. you know it's like yeah. there's it's no end to this this camaraderie yeah. it's just exactly. a constant celebration yeah. of coming together in your good times and your bad times that's what it is yes right. and just like how with and end everything with a with a drink and celebration like yeah. even if it's bad and then all like it. Like, you know, we're going to have fun. And yeah. now people yeah. can be like, oh my, celebration is only drinks ke saath hota hai kya? <laughs> things. Ke saath bhi hota hai, but we are doing drinks. Ke saath kar rahe hai, so please, don't misconstrue. Deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So deal with it, watch it, ask for four more shots, five more shots, how many ever shots you want. Thank you so much for speaking with us, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank and good luck. Five more shots, please. Five now. Jan, <laughs> 25th Jan, please watch it. Four more yeah. shots.